We are taking advantage of our inflatable kayak that we purchased during COVID. So during the pandemic, everything was shut down, but you know, you just had to get outdoors. And luckily in Florida, there's a lot of opportunity for water sports. So let's take a look here. We've got Duke, he's very excited about this water. Um, but we have this bright yellow inflatable kayak, so you could really have any kind of vehicle and be able to take it with you out to a large body of water. Uh, where we've chosen the Banana River, which is right adjacent to the uh, Cocoa Beach area. And you can park your car right along the river and be able to come out into this gorgeous body of water. Uh, no charge, you know, right at your car. Um, very easy to find a spot. Banana River offers so many great views. Besides this little pup right here wearing his life vest in case he gets the inkling to jump out at these waves that he's been barking at. Um, you can go through these bridges. Uh, you can see all of these boats that are hanging out. Maybe just don't get in their way if you're a self-paddling device. So we are 365-ish days from our last canoeing video. Uh, we were up in the chain lakes of uh, Winter Park area. Um, now coming to you from Banana River. Just want to take a minute to reflect on you know where we've come in a year. Um, we were in the middle of the pandemic uh, a year ago in 2021. I think now we're hopefully coming out of the pandemic. I mean, hopefully soon we'll be uh, considering ourselves endemic, I guess, if we could downgrade. Um, but, you know, I think that COVID, it's, you know, really defined a generation. Um, it's just defined our outlook on life. Uh, you know, people are more family focused. People are more uh, focused on, you know, what's important to us. Um, There's a boat coming. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be important. Uh, this man is important. The fact that he's the one that's paddling us to shore is important. Um, but, you know, feel free to leave some comments in the chat uh, just to let us know, you know, what's really important to you guys. There are a lot of places. You just have to have the patience to find the right one. And you can back your car right against the Banana River. Look at this. You got the Banana River. You got all your stuff. And then you got Remy. <laughs> he was getting us ready and it's dog friendly. So you can get your pup. We've got Duke, he's very interested in what is going to be getting in our bellies soon. Aren't you Duku? Yes. Ooh, yes. And then friends, if you have this kind of like thing you can corkscrew it into the ground for your pup, then you can keep him on leash and he can be free to roam, but not too far. It is very secluded here, which is nice. There is another family over there. So you can see there's another car and you can hear some kids giggling from behind these trees. Uh, but there's a lot of privacy in some of these spots and you can park your car right here. So your stuff is at the ready. We got Duke, I think he's very excited about what's in Remy's hands here. Another thing that's great about some of these spaces is the trees. So we actually, our table is here in the shade. We've got Duke in the shade. So on a hot summer day, it's perfect. Um, you'll notice there are some rocks down here and the south side of 528 has more rocks, I think for erosion purposes to try to keep the um, causeway uh, from eroding too much. But if you can go past them, like if you can just walk over those, there's sand, it's perfect. Um, and if you don't want any rocks, then if you go to the north side of 528, on the other side, um, that's just sand, but that's a little bit more crowded. So right across from our car is this path and I think it leads towards like some mangroves. Uh, there was a family here earlier. Let's see here. It looks like they've, uh, I think they started a fire pit, Justine. Fascinating. But the next person can use it too. 
Hmm. Okay. So a little bit of rock terrain here, but not too bad. Let's go through these mangroves. Just think you think you can uh, make it across here? Uh, well, I don't know. I have a dog in one hand <laughs> and I have a drink in another, so... <laughs> maybe, maybe not with the dog and a drink in a hand. Alright, let's, let's follow the path. I'm gonna give you Amigo's uh, Duke vision. It seems like maybe some people use this spot regularly just because I see like a 2x4 here. Interesting. Just seen any thoughts? Um, definitely not part of the natural environment. Right, maybe an invasive species, <laughs> aka human. <laughs> Water. Well, I, I always thought this was like brackish because of the inlet. You know, I, you might be right, but I'm not going to taste it. <laughs> mm. So the heat's getting a little treacherous. I think it's time for drink number two. See Justine here in action. What we got, Justine? Arnold Palmer Light, all right. It's a healthy portion there. All right, Justine, I feel it, I feel it. <laughs> all right, let's see. Interesting. Some Captain Morgan Black Spice Rum. I and uh, you Googled it. Oh, fascinating. And now we have some coconut rum. Uh, we had just a little bit left over. So hopefully it adds a nice little floater on top. Now don't forget to mix it, Justine. Just no, uh, no endorsements. <laughs> All right. I think we need more ice, babe. <laughs> 